Good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Sunday, June 26th, the 13th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And even though there's, we don't really celebrate feast days on Sundays because it's celebrating Christ, uh, but it is also the feast day of if June 26th did not fall on a Sunday, um, it would be the feast day of St. Jose Maria Escriba. And he was around in, in the 20th century, born in 1902 to 1975 when he passed away. Um, but he was a Spanish Roman Catholic priest, and he founded Opus Dei, um, which is an, an organization of lay people and priests, but primarily lay people. But it's dedicated to the teaching that everyone is called to holiness by God, and that ordinary life can result in sanctity. That is definitely one of my biggest uh, fears that I'm still trying to overcome. But um, but yeah, he is. It's also kind of correlates well with what Saint Francis de Sales writes in his introduction to the devout life, that it is possible for a laity to be holy. Um, as we all know, like that should be obvious, but um, um, that is can be a challenge for some people as well, where they fall into scrupulosity or thinking that they can never be good enough and they have to earn God's love and all this other stuff. So if you are a lay person watching this, know that as long as you're striving for holiness, you're doing God's will. So St. Jose Maria Escriva, he is the patron saint of, of that organization of Opus Dei. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 9, verses 51 through 62. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. When the days for his being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the, des because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, let the dead bury their dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. To him Jesus said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. That's rough. That's a tough challenge in itself. So Jesus is inviting us to rely on him literally all the time and to look ahead to what he wants to do for us in our life because i know i struggle with this um, i've done it for years and continue to do it you just always look back always look back and you just always for, don't have the it just takes away so much joy in the presence in the present right here and now because god doesn't exist in the past he did whenever it took place, but not anymore. Jesus is only right here and right now. God is only here right now. And that is the challenge. And if we are doing what sets our hearts aflame, there's no sense in dwelling on the past. And that's the main goal that Jesus is telling his followers or would-be followers is that we need to look forward and be in the present moment and say farewell to the past. So what is it in your life, right here and now, that you need to let go of in the past? Knowing that if it's whatever it is that you're dwelling on in the past is meant to be, God will bring it back in the present. But there's no sense in dwelling on it, because it's suffocating the joy that God wants to give us. So, with all that being said, good luck. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.